Welcome to the spoken tutorial on Introduction to Arduino. In this tutorial, we will learn about Arduino device, features of Arduino, components of Arduino board, microcontrollers, and installation of Arduino IDE on Ubuntu Linux operating system. To record this tutorial, I am using Arduino Uno board, Ubuntu Linux 14.04 operating system and Arduino IDE. To follow this tutorial, you should have basic knowledge of electronics. This is the Arduino board. The Arduino Uno board is one of the popular variant of Arduino project. It contains Atmega 328 microcontroller, digital input output pins, analog input pins and USB power adapter. USB power adapter can be used for programming the board. This is the microcontroller. It can be found in many electronic devices from portable music device to washing machines and cars. So what is a microcontroller? A microcontroller is a mini computer it contains CPU, that is the central processing unit, memory, system clock, and peripherals. Microcontroller is dedicated to perform only one task and execute one specific application at a time. We will see a few examples where a microcontroller is used. It is used in printers, cars, traffic signals, and motion detectors. Next, we will see some of the features of Arduino. Arduino IDE is an open source software. It is easy to write code and upload it to the physical board. It is very easy to learn the programming language with its inbuilt functions. It runs on Windows, Mac operating system and Linux. This software can be used with any Arduino board. Next, we will see how to install Arduino IDE. To do the installation, go to the website www.arduino.cc. Click on the download link. There are various links to download Arduino for Windows, Mac operating system and Linux. At the time of recording this tutorial, we have Arduino version 1.6.9. The version may vary in the future. I'll recommend to install Windows for non-admin install for Windows operating system. Now I will demonstrate how to install Arduino on Linux operating system. I'll click on the Linux 64-bit link because my machine architecture is 64-bit. Click on Linux 32-bit or 64-bit based on your system architecture. Click on Just Download. A dialog box opens. Click on the Save file. It will take some time to download. Wait until it completes. In My Downloads folder, the downloaded zip file is available. Extract the files from the zip folder. Now, let us launch the Arduino IDE from the terminal. Press Ctrl Alt T to open the terminal. Go to the downloads directory by typing CD Downloads. Type LS to see the Arduino folder name. Here in my system it shows Arduino 1.6.9. Now change the directory to Arduino 1.6.9. Type CD Arduino 1.6.9. Type LS to see the list of files available. In this folder, we have various files related to Arduino IDE compilers, such as Arduino backend files and configuration files. 
Now, let us run the Arduino executable file. For this, type dot slash Arduino and press enter to launch the Arduino IDE. We can see the Arduino IDE window. I have connected Arduino to the USB port of my computer. Let us check the connection. Click on the Tools menu. This shows that Arduino Uno board is already selected. In the Port menu, we can see a port number. Now, let me close the Arduino IDE. Click on File and Close. Another way to install Arduino in Linux operating system is by using the apt-get command in the terminal. Enter the sudo password when prompted. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about Arduino device, features of Arduino, components of Arduino board, microcontrollers and installation of Arduino IDE on Ubuntu Linux. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials and gives certificates on passing the online tests. For more details, please write to us. Do you have questions in this Spoken Tutorial? Please visit this site. Choose the minute and second where you have a question. Explain your question briefly. Someone from our team will answer them. The Spoken Tutorial Forum is for specific questions on this tutorial. Please do not post unrelated and general questions on them. This will help reduce the clutter. With less clutter, we can use these discussions as instructional material. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the given link. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial Project IIT Bombay. Thanks for watching.